Hey the folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Pharmacy 7. This is episode 40. What we're going to be doing today is quite a bit of fiddly sort of stuff. There's going to be quite a lot of snipping about. Oh sh shit, what happened to my tally line? <laughs> anyway, let's carry on and hope that nothing actually happened to, the, to anything. Anyways, we needed to come back to Cosmo Canyon because Red thought that it would be a good idea to see Bugenhagen, who seems to know so much about the world kind of thing. Before we head that way though, let's check how much money we got. Put 1,000, that should be plenty enough to get everything I want to buy for the rest of the game now. Is it in here, or is it up the ladder? Actually, no, I know where it is, I know where it is. I do want to go up the ladder just to show you something. I'm not sure if we can actually do it yet, but if we can then I just want to show it off. I won't actually be using the materia that we get out of this, but we'll see. It's going to be a lot of side questy stuff this time. There we go, the rope is gone, so we can come in here. Around the back, get ready, get ready. It's a oh, there's a couple of things, what's done by here? Full cure materia is what I wanted to come for. That fully heals the character. I think you can mix it with all and fully heal the whole party. It uses a hell of a lot of MP up though. I think you can do that. You need to level it up once to be able to use it. Same as the Ultima Materia and Elixir. Magic Souls. Ooh, Magic Souls. Sounds very nice. Uh, oh god, we've got so many items now. Anyways, let's go. That's what I wanted to show you with it. On the way up to Bugen Bugenhagen's observatory, I can remember there was a shop with all HP, MP pluses and stuff like that. I want to get a couple more of that sort of stuff. I want to be able to have two HP pluses on each character as well as one MP plus. Once we get equipment that actually has more more material slots and stuff, then that'll, that'll be easy to do. It'll be easy to fix everything on. Don't worry, there's no bosses or anything yet, so don't need to save. A lot of people complain about the graphics of the characters. The backgrounds, I think, are really good graphics, even for today's standards. A little bit, a little bit out, but <laughs> you know, they're good enough for me anyway. Is something going really wrong with? I think it's the component cables. Anyway, now please make yourselves comfortable. Don't want to be comfortable. I just want to buy some crap. Okay. We got two HP pluses, I want another four of those. And we got one of them. I want another one MP plus. I don't know if we'll actually need it, but I do want to have it. So we're gonna sell. So much material is only gonna get us one gill. That's because we haven't been using it. What's that 5,000 odd then? or something. Magic plus. I don't think we'll ever be using that. At the same time, it won't give us enough to actually make use of. We haven't got ice set on, have we? Hmm, that's weird. Thought we would have. I put it back on now. But transform. Why the hell is that worth seven thousand? Here we go, though. Get another MP plus. And now let's get ice on, because for whatever reason. What I'm going to do is take Ultima off. I, I'm not bothered about it. It's not brilliant in any sense of the word. For now, I think that's all we're going to be able to do. I'm going to take Steel off because we've done everything that I really want to do with Steel. I wanted to show off a few things early on in the game, mainly. Late in the game, you won't be getting much that's actually any good. I found. HP plus for him. That's all we can fit on here. We can take luck plus off of him for another HP plus. So he's got his two HP pluses on. I might take cover off because he's using up. He's taking all the limit bricks that I need the others to have. Well, say now. Nah. I don't want any more of these sort of things on him, so I'll put luck plus. That's all we can do for now, but looks like. I'm sorry. Let's have another look. We might take enemy skill off him, because we don't need three characters with it on anyway, do we? So let's chuck another HP plus, so he's got both of his on. Hold on. Because we need them to level up, so we need them on as early as possible, kind of thing. He hasn't got an MP plus on, but that's fine for me for Cloud. It's fine. 
HP plus, I want another HP plus on there, whatever we do. And take the enemy skill off here as well. Never mind. Okay, so let's actually carry on with the game. Now that I've wasted all that time. <laughs> I want to go up to the observatory, like I said earlier. Oh, I, I pointed to. Wrong way. I've played this game so many times and I still get a little bit stickied. <laughs> because the place is like a giant maze with your character right back in the background. If you don't have select pressed, no idea where to go. No idea. Okay. Where are you, sir? He's around here somewhere. There he is. We're going to get another summon now as well. One of the best summons in the game, as you'd expect this late on. If you ever earn need of my wisdom, you're always welcome here. That's why we came. What to do? Have we lost a way? When that happens, we each have to take a good long look at ourselves. There's always something in the deepest reaches of our hearts. Something buried or something forgotten. Whatever that is, must certainly be what you're all looking for. Is it? We're just looking for Sephiroth, aren't we? <laughs> That's easy enough to say, but I can't remember a thing. Okay. This ain't no good with just us. Cloud, we've got to get some others in here. Okay, we got to call all the others. Just like last time we were in Cosmo Canyon and going through all this crap. Got to have everyone around. Yeah, no. Where are they to? What's it that you were searching for? <laughs> Cat's like that's nothing. Me neither. I don't get any of this. I remember Iris a lot. Not that. You haven't remembered. You haven't forgotten. That's not it. How would you say it? Iris was right there all along, right by our side. She was so close we couldn't see her. What Iris did, the words she left behind. Ah, so... What this is getting at now is that they're all doing it for Iris. Iris' death kind of thing. And, yeah. To save the planet, obviously. And now... They are completely clueless as to why Iris sacrificed herself by just praying. What's it? What's it? I have nothing for years. What did Iris know? Why did she face Sephiroth without running away? Uh huh. Perhaps I'll have you take me there. Okay, so Buganagan wants us to take him to the place that Iris died. Or around that area. <laughs> Must be the planet. The planet is calling you. Who oh boy, the planet calling. Right. <laughs> then let's go. Okay, so where are we going? We are going to the Sleeping City, or the City of the Ancients, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I wonder what it was actually called as a proper city. Oh yeah, we got to give the huge materia back. Come on then, let's put it up there. Because we got all three huge materia, I think the space one is the one you actually needed to get for this summon. We're now going to get the third and final form of Bahamut. Bahamut Zero. Whee! Has he got a ribbon on the back of his head? Yes! This is really rare material indeed. This ray is certain to have special consciousness enclosed in it. Okay. Blue one. I think it's the one you get from space. Get closer. <laughs> is that Bahamut? It is indeed. This is the only way you can get Bahamut Zero, otherwise I don't... Actually, you might be able to get in Bone Village. But I think it's like a tiny chance of you digging it up, kind of thing. Because I know you can do it with a couple of summons, but I can't remember which they are. I read it somewhere. I've never done it myself. But I'm at zero. So, what I want to do, just to show it off, I'm going to put it on summon for now. Get rid of Phoenix for Bahamut Zero. I won't be leaving it there. I'll be putting Phoenix back on at some point, just so it Barrett has a way of reviving everyone. It's handy. No, don't give up that now. Do you remember to use the machine down below? If you ever want to see material, come here any time. Like he says, if you ever want. Come back. What I'm going to do now is cut all the way... Oh, oh shit, I forgot about this a little bit. <laughs> but I will be cutting all the way to where we need to go. It's somewhere you've already seen before, so you know where to go and everything. Just look back at episode... I shouldn't have said that. I can't remember what episode is. Um. 
I can't remember. I also feel the greatness of man's wisdom and the knowledge and the smell of machinery. Bye for now. But the episode was called Aries Finest Moment or something like that. Anyway, I shall see you in a sec. We've made it back. I suppose I will show you the way there this time as well. I, it was all a bit messed up last time, so why not? The battles are really quick around you now. I think you can heal in there. Save. You can definitely save in there. Actually, you can't heal, can you? That's at the end on the other side. Here we go. This is where we needed to bring him. We came here before and got a water armlet or something, which was really handy for a boss. Now, it's obviously gone, so we can't do it again. You're getting something? Yeah, we've got cinematic coming up soon. It's pretty tough to find this little bit by you, because there's no green arrow to show you to go there or anything. I found it a bit tough, anyway. Time for Bugenhagen to shed a bit of light on things. The knowledge of the ancients swirling around here is telling me one thing. The planet's in a crisis. A crisis beyond human power or endless time. It says, when the time comes, we must search for holy. Oh, I. Holy, the ultimate white magic. Magic that might stand against Meteor. If I haven't figured it out by now, <laughs> what Eris was doing. <laughs> if a soul-seeking holy reaches the planet, it will appear. Yep. Meteor weapon. Everything will disappear. Perhaps even ourselves. Even us? Even us. <laughs> What's best for the planet? What's bad for the planet? All that's bad will disappear. That's all. I wonder which we humans are. I wonder, are we good or bad? It's funny because some humans are good, some humans are bad. So who knows how it would be decided. Speak to the planet. Get the white materia. This will bond the planet to humans. Then speak to the planet. If our wish reaches the planet, the white material will begin to glow a pale green. Hmm, huh. this is the end. Eris had the white material. Dun dun dun! So that's why Eris was willing to let herself die to save the planet with a holy material that was apparently useless because her mother gave it to her. And it didn't do anything. But it does! When Meteor has come in, holy beats it. But now we've lost that. We lost Ares' prey. What do we do now? Here comes the cinematic. I think is now. This ain't the last time we're coming here, so you know, we're not sure if it's now or not. I'm not an ancient, I can't read this thing. Yeah. What he's telling us now is that we need some sort of key, some sort of deciphering key. Something written in chalk, even sunlight can't reach key. So that's our clue as to where the key is, that's all you get in. What you need to do is try and figure out where you haven't been in the world map. The thing is, we've been pretty much everywhere on the world map. So what we need to do now is go underwater. We need to make use of the submarine for the only time in the game unless you're doing the optional super boss, which we're not. This is just torture. I find RPGs, uh, super bosses and RPGs to be torture. They're not fun. You level for a million years, you just get bored shitless. I do anyway. I did it with Eternal Sonata because it wasn't too hard, it wasn't too bad kind of thing. Yeah, but I wouldn't do it for most RPGs. Nope, looks like the cinematic is later, so we're going to have to go <laughs> and find that. I'll see you when we get back at the submarine. And we are back, folks. Notes the pink dot on the world map. That is where you leave your sub, and the red dot, flashing dot, is where you leave your airship. So you always know by pressing select or start where you left it. What we're going to do now? Is head on under. You can't have battles underwater except for the super boss, so make sure you don't fight that thing. Whatever you do, it's, it's no fun. On the way back, Tiffa and Barrett both leveled up once and. Ooh, hold on, what's this? Hold on. I think this is important. No? Okay. 
Right, vampire, anyway. We can go down this way. Just go around the outside, there's nothing in the middle except for the super boss, and he floats around and you don't wanna come across him. Whatever the hell you do. There's supposed to be something by you, I'm sure there is. Oh, there he is, you can see the smoke. That's Emerald Weapon. You can't beat him yet, no matter what you do. If you're as... If you're not prepared like like me. I'm not prepared, that's what I mean. Anyway, just keep going around the ocean. And eventually you'll come across a couple of little things. There's an optional dungeon down here, which I'm going to do. As a bonus episode. First bonus episode. This is the first thing I wanted to come across, though. It's the submarine we destroyed earlier with the huge material on it. You don't need to find this thing. It is still optional. <laughs> Even though it's a huge material, it's still optional. We got it now. I think you can take it back to Bugenhagen's place, but... I can't remember actually getting anything good out of it. I don't know why you can do this, really. But... But it's worth doing just to see, you know. It's, I like to do it anyway. It's quite hard to see if the ball actually goes inwards, or if... It doesn't. <laughs> I mean, no sense whatsoever. But... Yeah, no. Don't go towards the crater, there's nothing there. And I'll... Emerald Weapon likes to stay around those sort of crater places, so... Don't bother. Next thing I want to look for is that optional dungeon I was talking about. It's actually in the wall some way. Yeah, in this sort of way. There it is. This thing is the Galnica. Remember Shinra had a big plane. It flew off um, with huge material on it. There's no huge material on it now. I don't know how we crashed. I don't think it gets explained that I've ever known. So, this is going to be an optional bonus episode. I shall see you once I've done the bonus episode. Keep an eye out for an episode called Episode 40A. Something to do with the girl in the car will be the title. I haven't thought of it yet. See you after I've done the dungeon. Hold on. There will be more to this episode. <laughs> and we are back. <laughs> so just keep on checking around. There's somewhere around you. There's something else I want to show off as well. But it won't be part of the bonus episode because it really fleshes out one of the optional characters, so I do want to show it off. I just can't remember where it is. Honestly. So, I've written it down. I did a bit of research. <laughs> I think it might be... If we carry on following the wall round kind of thing. I did write it down, but... I don't want to look at it unless I absolutely have to kind of thing. Keep following the wall. We'll be getting what we actually came down here for soon, by the way. Then we'll never have to come down here again. Here we go, I knew it was around here somewhere, just... Meh. Here we go. Just gotta try and figure out... If it's just all the way to then. By the way, the ultimate... The Emerald Weapon can't chase away you down the narrow passageways and stuff like that. He never asked for me, anyway. Oh, this is what we actually came for. I didn't mean to get this yet. Well, okay, we'll get it now. Hey, hey, the key. It is indeed. It's exactly what we came for. Several thousand years old. I'm hoping we don't get teleported back to Bugenhagen now, because I want to show something else. Quite badly. <laughs> No, don't go black screen. Thank you. Around by you somewhere. We have to go up. It shows on the map exactly where this key is. And if there's somewhere I'm thinking of, then I'll just... Yeah, here we go. This is where the key is. Somewhere around by you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hope that helped. I think we missed it actually, so let's go back down a bit. I think it is around by here somewhere, it's just, just the way we haven't gone yet. I need a pee quite badly, I'll be honest. Okay, it's this way, that's good. 
I'm glad I didn't screw that up. Oh my god, I hope this ain't screwing up the <laughs> video. Anyways, that doesn't matter right now. This isn't the last thing I'm going to show, by the way. There'll be a little bit more to the episode as well. After this optional bit. But for some reason I'm not putting in the bonus episode, I'm actually putting by you. Okay, I'm back. That was a bit... <laughs> Didn't even have to cut the video all day. I'm getting so used to being interrupted, you know. <laughs> I'm an expert. Anyway, up here. Now where to is it? What you want to do before doing anything else? No, don't go back down! Oh. Come on, back up, back up. You want to press circle to get off, obviously. And press the wrong one. But yeah. The waterfall is where we're going to. But I wanna, I wanna get off. I wanna, I wanna get out. I wanna, I wanna get out. I need being allowed to get out. There we go. Okay, that to be on the dark bone apparently. Let's get the PHS on the go and give it a bow at a sec. It's only for a bit of story, so no need to change the material or anything. Can we actually go in like this? No. Right. Like I said, make sure you have Vincent in your party. Oh, this ain't happening. This is how you get Vincent's backstory as well as his ultimate weapon and ultimate limit break. That voice, it can't be. If you don't use Vincent, then it's still good for the story, I think. Lucretia? Vincent? Yay, Lucretia! <laughs> But this isn't just how you do it. There's a bit more to getting his limit break and weapon. You need to come back in disc 3. If you if you haven't done this in disc 2, then you can't do it. You, you've missed out. <laughs> as far as I know. Google it. See if there is another way, but this is the only way I know of. Ah, look at him. This is what Vincent looked like as a Turk. It's quite strange, isn't it, seeing him in that, in that skin. Will you marry me, Lucretia? No, nope, not quite. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, to be honest, but they're arguing a lot. That's all we know. Ah, sad times. If she's happy, then I don't mind. So she went off with another with a scientist because it didn't work out with Vincent or something. It's not giving much dialogue because I think he's a back. He's a side character, so they didn't want to put too much effort into this story, maybe. It's like when you get DLC for a side character in an RPG. And it tells you this story, but then it's fleshed out or as well done as like in the main RPG and the main characters. After that, a child was born to Lucretia. Born to Lucretia? <laughs> that child's name is... Who's Lucretia's child? Sephiroth. There we go. Does that mean that it is Vincent's son, or is that the scientist? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. Hello. What? What are they talking about? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> this is how Vincent ended up, as he did. Bit of a weirdo. Dead. He's not quite dead. From what I remember, they're now going to do, yeah, experiments on him <laughs> and turn him into the freak he is, able to turn to monsters and stuff, like his overdrive, his, his limit break shows. It's a vampire thing. <laughs> Dear, I didn't sound good. Ugh. This body is the punishment that's been given to me. No, someone's just been a twat. I was unable to stop Professor Gast and Hojo, and Lucretia, I was unable to stop them. All that I was able to do was watch. That is my punishment. Uh huh. You get a bit more story and stuff now when you come back 
in disc 3. Anytime in disc 3. I mean, there's not much to disc 3, actually, but, uh, you know. The Genova inside me wouldn't let me die. Oh dear. Lately, I dream a lot of Sephiroth, my dear, dear child. Ever since he was born, I never got to hold him, even once. Not even once. You can't call me his mother. That is my sin. Back, I stay back. Vincent, won't you please tell me? If Sephiroth is still alive... Nope! I heard that he died five years ago, but I see him in my dreams so often. And I know that physically, like myself, he can't die so easily. Uh-huh. Nope. <laughs> Cloud is not having any say in this. Lucretia, Sephiroth is dead. Hmm. We finally meet... Actually, I say finally meet Lucretia. We didn't really... Don't really know who she is properly. She's just a scientist who is with Hojo, I guess. So that's what we're getting for now. I am going to see you... I'm going to get back to the high wind and see you back at Bugenhagen's place, the sleeping city. Inside. We made it back. I should probably mention what we got in the bonus episode, just in case you get a bit confused. In the Gelnica underwater, and what the airship that is in the bonus episode. Double cut, two times cut, so that you can do two attacks with one attack. Amazing. Four cuts if you get the AP high enough, but that's a lot of AP, 100,000. Other than that, we learned stop. Um, let's have a little look. We got the Heaven's Cloud, a new sword. Not many joint material, but a third more attack power. We got this, nullifies lightning and earth, water and poison. He's really set up now. He's got a brilliant armor, brilliant accessory. A really good sword, but we'll be getting a better one at some point. Other than that, that's all. Oh, we got Hades as well. Hold on. If I've forgotten anything, give me a shout. I don't know. It was a while ago now. <laughs> it feels like a while ago. Oh, you found it. Yep, we got the key to the ancients. Key of the ancients? One of those. That music box over there. We'll put the key in it. I'll go use the key. You all wait here. And watch closely what happens. Cinematic incoming. I didn't say it was an amazing cinematic. <laughs> I think there's another one coming as well though. Go inside. Okay, sir. This was just a screen to project an image. Water to project an image? Look at the image projected on the screen of the water. It's glowing. Yeah, we get to see Aeris again. It's pale green, meaning that the person who used it, who prayed with it, was... was Aeris. I mean, we figured that out already, I'm sure. After I gave up the black material to Sephiroth, Aeris' words came into my dreams. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth, and to do that, there was a secret here. That was holy. That's why she had the white material. Aeris knew about you and what she had to do. 
Iris has left us great hope, but it cost her her life, her future. But she did do the prayer, and Holy did activate, so we haven't seen exactly what it did. Maybe we will at some point. I'll do the rest. That's we! What Iris left us, we can't waste it. She didn't sacrifice her life for nothing. We're not quite done yet, though. <laughs> we got some hope, but... Just look at the glow of the white materia. Yep, the planet has heard it, so the prayer worked. I said that. Do you have to repeat what I say, Boogan? Boogan Hagen? Boogan Hagen? Something's getting in its way. Him. Sefi. We need to kill off Sefi, so Holy will work and stop Meteor. Right, but how if we can't even get into the crater where he is? Okay, let's try and leave. Try being the operative word. Oh, wait, here we go. I'm not sure if we get teleported out now, I hope so, because it's quite a trek every time, backtracking through this place all the time. Sorry, I was a little surprised. What happened? You remember when the Junon cannon disappeared? Actually, Rufus moved it. That big thing? Wait, why? Rufus wants to destroy Sephiroth with it. That cannon operates on huge materia, but the huge materia has already been used in the rocket plan. So since the cannon's useless right now, he decided to move it. To a place where materia, no, where Mako is gathered. Where's that? Did onto Midgar. Quite clever. Quite clever, really. My voice keeps breaking today. I feel like a 12 year old. <laughs> Don't worry about adjusting it, Reeve. Once you open it up all the way, everything will go full speed. Yeah, <laughs> the president sure done it this time. If we can only defeat Sephiroth, the idea that Meteor will also disappear is based on different objectives. Please remember, Mr. President, it was my idea to fire Mako reactor power shells. I don't know. She thinks so. Mr. President, please do not call it the Mako Cannon. This new weapon will be called... <gasps> da da da! The Sister Ray! Looks like we actually have to get out here. I'm not sure, actually. We'll find out now. I want to keep on moving. Keep on moving. Bayeux might be where we cut out. Yes? No? Nope. Okay, I'll see you back on the outside on the world map. Okay, we're back in Bone Village now. The backtracking in this part of the game is awful. It uses up so much time. I think they wanted to stretch the disc out a bit, you know. Make it seem a bit longer than it actually is. Anyways, now we're out on the world map. It's time for another cinematic. Yes? No? Well, not yet. <laughs> It'll happen next time then when we get on the airship. So, this has been Green XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again next time when I'm actually leaving you on a bit of a cliffhanger that you might not realise yet. We're going to be heading back to Midgar to check out the Sister A and... Oh dear lord, it's going to get heavy. We're actually coming up to the end of the game. Midgar is the final dungeon. We won't be... Yeah, it's, it's a final dungeon of this disc, I mean. And then there'll be one more mandatory dungeon of the third disc, and that'll be the end of the game. But I, like I said before, I'll be doing a lot of optional crap. <laughs> Not literally crap. We'll be getting a lot of ultimate weapons, ultimate limit breaks. Not all of them. Not for every character that I don't use. I will be getting the ones for Tiffa, for Cloud, except for the limit break, because we'll be seeing that anyway. In this, this, you have to see it in the last boss. And the ones for Barrett. I'll, I want to get the ones for red. I will definitely be getting the one for red because we got the limit break already. Just got to get the weapon, which is easy to get. Uh, Sids, I want to get the weapon. 
because we've got the limit break. Vincent will be getting, that's easy. Yuffies will be getting. Anyway, I'll see you again in a bit. I'm rambling on. <laughs> Bye.